Hi, my name is Maggie Daniel and I work for BKMPC Certified Public Accountants. And I am recording this video today to give you guys a quick preview of how to use our Canopy Client Portal, which I'm just gonna call the portal for the rest of the video. Um, so our portal is something that our team uses in order to upload documents, download documents. It's where we store all of your tax and accounting um, files and where we also upload your invoices and a few other things as well. So it's a really useful tool that if you know how to use it, it can be really useful for us and for you. So the best way to get there is if you go to our website, which is www.bkm-cpa.com. We'll take you here to our home screen. And if you just see at the top right hand corner, there's a button that says portal login. You can just click that. And that takes you to Canopy. Oops, you can see I've already logged in. So I'm actually just going to sign out really quickly so that you can see what the sign in page looks like so that you know what to look for. If you've never set up your account, the first thing you need to do is you just need to email me at maggie at bkm-cpa.com and just request, I need access to my portal. And then I'll send you a link and all you'll have to do is click the link and then basically set up your password. You'll use your email address and then that password that you created in order to access your account. Once you've logged in, this is what we call your dashboard. If you have a business account and a personal account with us, you will have two separate portals, but they'll be under the same login. So unless you request otherwise. So in order to switch between the two accounts, you can see down here below, you might've seen it before when I signed out, you can click on the name. So you can see here, I'm logged into my business account, BKMPC Certified Public Accountants. I can click here and then it will show me the other accounts that I also have access to. So I can switch to my personal Maggie Daniel here. And that takes me to my personal um, dashboard. Down here at the bottom, you can always quickly see which account you're viewing. On this home screen, you can see it just kind of gives you a little overview of what all is in, what all is going on within your account. Um, there's not much you can do from here other than click and view what is on the summary page. You can see though that I have a to do, which you can also see on the second section here to do, which is this client organizer. These client organizers, so you might be familiar with client organizers. We used to send these in the mail. We do still send some in the mail to people who request them. Um, these are our virtual client organizers. They're really great because it's just basically a checklist. It asks you all of the important questions on, did you have this? Did you have this? And it's just a checklist. You click yes, yes, no, doesn't apply. Yes, yes. And it will ask you to provide details for if you added a dependent or anything like that. And that sends it directly to us. And then once you've finished answering all of the questions, it will provide you a list of all of the documents that you're gonna need to send us for us to do your tax return. So if you answered this, then you're gonna need to provide us a 1099-R. If you answered this, you need to provide us your W-2. Um, it will just give you a really quick reference on what we need from you. So that's pretty handy. The next section is the file section. This is probably the most useful section out of our portal. In here, you can see all of the files for every tax year that you've worked with us. So you should have access to all of the documents you've brought us in the past and all of the final copies of any returns we filed on your behalf. You can just access those in within each individual tax year. That's what TY is for, tax year 2022, tax year 20. You can upload here by dragging and dropping a file from a from your computer, or you can click this add a file, which is where you can just, it will take you to, you know, your, your desktop so that you can upload files by just clicking what you want and then clicking open. Notice you can do that without being in an individual folder. What's great about Canopy as opposed to our old software is you can just upload into this main file screen and then we can organize it for you. Whenever you upload something, it sends us an email and we come in here and we check it to be sure that we received it. It's always super helpful as well if you upload documents to go ahead and shoot um, either one of our operation staff members like myself or the tax associate you usually work with just to let them know, hey, I uploaded my W-2s or whatever it is. 
You can also upload directly into a folder. If you go into the folder that you want to upload into, you just go here, same thing, add a file or drag and drop. The last little section, section in here is the billing tab. If you were to have any open invoices, that would show here. You would also be able to pay any invoices here. You can add a bank account or a credit card or debit card, and you can just pay directly from the portal. When you're uploading files, really make sure that you're uploading into the correct account if you have multiple. If you, um, It's okay if you accidentally upload into, like get your wires crossed a little bit, just let us know and we can move them for you. That's basically the simple, um, quick view of how to use our portal. But I wanted to really quickly also show you our portal has an app for smartphones. So I'm using an iPhone, but there's also an app for the Android. Um, you could see on that first login page that there was a little section where you could click it and it would take you to the app stores to download the app. But once you've downloaded the app, this is what it should look like. It's a white app with a blue logo, both for Apple and for Android. You click on the portal, you would log in. Once you've already logged in before, um, which is what I've already done. I wonder if I can sign out. This is the home screen that you'll get. So you just click sign in and it takes you to that same login page that we've used before. Oops, sorry. Same password. Sign in. And now you would just get started. You can allow for notifications, which is great in case our staff is trying to get a hold of you. I'm going to click maybe later. It's going to ask you to create a passcode. This will make signing in simple and quick later. And it's even lets you use Face ID. So it just kind of helps you um, quickly access the things that you need to access. So using the app is almost just exactly like the portal online. So you have your desktop um, dashboard home screen, you have the to-do, and you have your files, and you have your billing. What's great about the file section on the app is that you can add a file directly from your phone. So let's say you were to get a letter from the IRS or you added something that you don't recognize, you can always add a file, scan with camera, take a picture of the file. Here's my beautiful homemade file. Click. If it was a real file, it would not be as, you wouldn't have, usually have to worry about cropping it, but you can. Keep scan. You can also add more pages to the file if you want. So let's say there's a second page here, like keep scan. And now I can just save those two pages together. It's going to prepare a PDF. It's going to give you all kinds of options on what is this document? What are you uploading? And so I could choose or I could use custom. Oops. And then I just click upload. Might take a second. And then you can see that that file here, test one, two, three. Notice it didn't upload into any specific folder. If I wanted to upload into a specific folder, I'm actually gonna switch to my personal because it looks like I'm on the business files. If I wanted to upload into a specific folder, I could do that by going into the folder I want to upload into. Oh, I guess I can't do that from the app. I'm sorry. But um, again, what's great about the portal is you don't necessarily need to upload it into a specific folder because we're going to get that notification and we'll just move it for you. It's no big deal. Again, you can come into billing and if I had any invoices, you would be able to see those invoices and pay them from your phone. So I think that's basically all that you need to know about how to use our Canopy client portal on the app and online.
If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, maggie at bkm-cpa.com. And if you need access, again, just let us know. We can get that to you. And I believe that should be all. So.